I am Andrew Medina from 3MEA and for today I'll be giving you a video procedure on how I completed the displacement analysis and quick return ratio assignment. For our first figure, this is what we're given. All the measurements are, will be in centimeters by the way. And our ratio is 10 to 1 ratio. So from link A to from joint A to joint C, it measures 35 centimeters. And from C to D, it measures 45 centimeters. From D to B, it measures another 45 centimeters. And from D to E, it measures 40 centimeters. So the first thing that's being asked is to determine the displacement of slider E if crank AC rotates 20 degrees counterclockwise. So the original degrees of measurement from the base of crank AC measures 60 degrees. So we need to determine the displacement of E when this link AC is now 1, 2, 20 degrees clockwise from its, origi from its original position. So what we will do, we will write a new line from point A to C prime. Now that we have our C prime, we have to determine where our D prime would be. And let us remember that uh, the distance from C to D is 45 centimeters. So simply all we have to do is draw another circle from this point, point C prime, measuring 45 centimeters. and find the connection within C, uh, within point B to point D, which is this circle here. So now that we have our D prime, we're gonna find the, we're finally gonna find the displacement of slider E by making another circle, our final circle, which measures from D to E, which is 40 centimeters from point D prime. And we have to find its um, tangent within this line, which is 12 centimeters away from point B. So after finally finding the displacement of slider E, if crank AC rotates 20 degrees counterclockwise from its original position, we can find that the displacement of slider E is around 10 to 12 centimeters downwards. E of question one, it asks, does this mechanism satisfy Grashoff's criterion? Explain. Okay, so let's look at Grashoff's the formula for Grashoff's criterion, which is, which basically asks if the minimum length of a of the four links it plus the maximum length is less than L prime and minus L double prime. So basically what we have to do, we have, we, we basically have four measurements here. Uh, not counting the AB because it doesn't form a link. It's not, there's no link between A, AB. So we have AC, which is 35, CD, which is 45, BD, which is 45, <clears throat> 45 also, and DE, which is 40 centimeters. So looking at this, we can say that L minimum is equal to 35. And we'll say that one of the L max is equal to 45. And for the L prime, we'll say that it's 45. And for the L double prime, we'll say that it's 40. These are all in centimeters. 35, 45, 45, and 40. Okay, now plugging this in into the formula, we have 45 minus 35. Is it less than 45 
minus 40, we'll have 10 is less than 5. Now, looking at this statement, we can see that it is wrong. And based on the formula for Grashof's criterion, we would say that this, this mechanism does not satisfy Grashof's cri criterion. So for the third, uh, the second problem which I chose to solve uh, it's, is the third item, which is to find the maximum swing angle of link CB in the quick return ratio. I have drawn here the figure. Basically, all we have to do, uh, we know that this link AB uh, fulfills Grashoff's criterion, which means that the, the link AB can completely revolve around point A. So we have to just find the uh, point on the B, or a point on the circle, which would be tangent from a line drawn from C. So we have the first point here, let's, let's mark it. And then we have a second point, we use the ruler here. This would be our second point. Now let's mark that. Now that we've made B prime and B double prime, we can now find the maximum swing angle of link CB. So measuring this, we have about 54 to 55 degrees of maximum swing angle. So, in finally, we determine our quick return ratio, which is basically angle beta over angle alpha. So, in measuring this, we get a full 180 degrees. We mark that here already, and then we we measure the rest of the angle, and it's around 54 degrees. Okay, so 180, let's put it in the calculator, 180 plus 54 would be 234 degrees. Okay, so that's our angle beta. Let us measure now our angle alpha. <clears throat> we can actually start here from the zero. And looking at it, we have around one one hundred twenty six degrees one hundred twenty six degrees so angle beta over angle alpha is two hundred thirty four over one hundred twenty six degrees and that should equal one point eight five seven one and that's our quick return ratio